Hello YouTube, this is Dave the NES guy and I'm back with another pickup video. I have a bunch of stuff to get to this time so I will start right away. First off I got three games online from JJ Games, a great place to buy if you're Canadian and you like free shipping from the states. First off I got Super Jeopardy, Ferrari Grand Prix, and Star Trek. Got them all at really good prices. You know, going for the complete NES collection, so I'll never play those games, but they are there and they will sit, you know, somewhere there. Uh, next, I went back to Cash for Games, or should I say the basement of Cash to Games, uh, where I hung out with uh, Pierre and Ken a while back and got a great deal on a, a bunch more games. I'm trying to get to their place as often as possible because they're opening their new store in August and I want to get, you know, stuff before other people do. And they're giving me really good prices, like they're giving me price charting prices and I, I can't argue with that. It's, it's the best way to go. So they gave me, and they also gave me a couple of free games and I like free games. So I got uh, NBA All-Star Challenge. Super Pinball and ML MLBPA Baseball. Clearly I'm a baseball fan because I had to look at that. Like if that was hockey, it'd be like the NHL. No, I know that already. Okay, so I got those three for free and then I got uh, a bunch more NES games for money. Obviously, right? So, first off, I got Ninja Kid, which is a really neat cover because like there's a screenshot on like I've seen some interesting Stickers on games, but to have the screenshot on the cart It's it's you know, it's kind of unique. I don't think I've ever seen that Picked up Jaws a very you know mediocre game with a misleading cover look at that that looks terrifying and that is not what the game is. The game's frustrating and, you know, fun, I guess you could say. Alright. Got Mighty Bomb Jack. Not fun at all. Next, I got Clash Ball with a sweet label. It's mint. I played the game and, you know, again, these guys are wearing spikes on their uniforms. They're not wearing face masks, which is kind of funny. Like, you know, they're wearing helmets with you know spikes coming out of it so basically if you body check the guy and your spike goes into like his face you're done but that's the price you pay for playing clash ball i didn't mess that up yes all right so next up round ball which is basketball played with a round ball and it's two on two and it's incredibly boring uh daydreaming Davy, another really good label. It's mint, and you know the AVGN does a great video on that one there. Uh, also picked up Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, another Tenjin cart. Uh, last two here, Life Force by Konami, really good game, super tough. Wow, it's tough. Lives up to its reputation. And lastly, from Cash for Games, I got. Pac-Mania, which is a really fun game. It's an isometric view of Pac-Man, and you can jump, like you can jump the the lines. So it's actually a pretty fun game to play. So I got those at, you know, great prices, really happy. Um, and yeah, so I was really happy to pick those up. That brings my NES total to 515 now. And I am going for the complete collection. You know, it's definitely getting harder to find games that are, you know, decently priced. I mean, I, anyone can go out and buy games for hundreds of dollars, but I'm getting games at good prices, and I'm, I'm still in the 500s, and, you know, I'm going to keep climbing, and, you know, I'll get as close as I can to that goal. Finally, I got some uh, games. I did, I did a trade with uh, the gaming file. I was at his house uh, a week ago, 
and I brought over some Game Boy stuff, uh, including a purple Game Boy. And he had most of the other games, but he didn't have a purple Game Boy. So I was able to trade him a purple Game Boy for the box and manual to Star Wars for the NES, which is cool because I already had the game. So now put them together and they go on this shelf with my box games. So that was a really sweet trade. I think it worked out for both of us. He got rid of an extra box he had and I don't collect Game Boy. <laughs> stick to you know consoles I, I don't do handheld I just don't do it so uh, yeah, but look what I did though I made a trade with them and I picked up Donkey Kong Land 2 because I don't know maybe it's like you know Donkey Kong Country I'm okay to play a few games on the Super Nintendo when I get them um, but I'm not collecting them <laughs> but yet I have one right here yeah uh, he also gave me two two things he gave me a box for silent service so that was totally awesome and it's a really it's a really good box like this is a really nice cover honestly it's really cool game is you know junk but the box is pretty cool and then i told him that uh you know i'm, I'm starting to decorate my my game room slash basement slash you know my wife lets me hang out in the basement and do whatever i want with it room and i have uh, like wood paneling going around like sort of halfway up um, I know there's a name for that. It's wainscoting. That's what it is. Yes! So, I've got that going all around my basement, and my goal is to put Atari games all the way around on them. Because Atari games, they don't have, well, they do have end labels, but they, they actually have some pretty neat artwork on them. So, I'm sort of going around right now, and I've, you know, I've got, let's say, 30% of it covered. And I just asked him, I said, hey, do you have any Atari games? And he's like, oh, I have one. And he, he's like, you can have it. So, he just gave it to me, and it's a good title. It's uh, Miss Pac-Man. So, or, or Ms. Pac-Man. So that was really cool of him. He gave me a couple of things. We made the trade. It was awesome. And yeah, so uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Take care.